Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and welcome back to Bravely Default, where previously we had gone through yet again another bout of lengthy exposition that is to establish more of our characters' backstories, our motives, and well, we also got the addition of a new party member by the name of Agnes Oblige, who is a very mysterious person, to say the least, as of right now. Turns out she's the Wind Vestal, and there is a lot we need to be investing in her, if you will. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take a quick rest uh, before we notify the king of our discovery. Excuse me. A bed or two, perhaps? Thank you. We kind of got wrecked in the last part, didn't we? That was kind of my fault, but, <laughs> well, can't win them all, I guess. Actually, we didn't do too bad, I just forgot to buy weapons. All we had were daggers. Speaking of which, now that we have a bit more money, let's go and buy some stuff, shall we? Now, as of right now, it would be a luxury to be able to buy three spells right now, but we still need weapons, and we can't use any of these yet. And ideally, Fire, Thunder, and Cure would be the best choice for me right now. Poison would also be fantastic for later. Uh, but we're just going to buy Cure, and anybody who has the proper job equipped can use that, unless it's also in their sub-job slot. And uh, let's go ahead and treat ourselves, shall we? Now, hmm, I'm not going to be doing this sort of inventory nonsense on screen too frequently, but... Uh, just this first time I think it'll be good. So, let's go and buy a broadsword. I'm gonna buy that for Tiz, and probably a rod for Agnes. It's not gonna be very good on her right now, but eventually, I don't know. Uh, we'll buy two bucklers, uh, and let's see. The pointy hat might actually be pretty good. It raises magical attack. Not something we'll be able to use for a while, but it's worth only 20, so we'll buy that for... Madame Oblige, Bronze Helm for Tiz, and now this is where it gets a little complicated. Okay, so we already have a Linen Cuirass for some reason, and Agnes has the Tunic, so the Gi would probably be good for her. Yeah, even though the Leather Armor might also be good. We'll go with that. It's a little expensive, but that's alright. And last but not least, we can buy probably one of these each. Uh, we don't need to raise that. So... <laughs> and take care of ourselves. Now, as you could imagine, the equip screen is pretty simple. We have two weapon slots, just in case you have weapons you can hold in both hands, but that doesn't always mean you'll do more damage. Sometimes it's better to, you know, have a broadsword and a buckler. That'll increase your attack more than if you had two weapons, you know? But we also do have an optimum slot, and that is pretty close to what I was going to do anyways. So, yep. And we'll have the gauntlet. Apparently didn't feel like equipping that. And this should actually be pretty good. Our aim is lower, but that's right. Oh shoot, I forgot. This is all on the bottom screen. I can show this on top. Oh no, this is completely different. You can actually look at your character, their equipment, and it's it's pretty neat, but nothing we really need to see. Okay, so dagger, we'll go and buckle that up. Pointy hat, Kenpogi, and there we go. All good and happy, and we can sell all of our old stuff, but I'll hold off on that for now. For now, we must return to the king, report our findings, and uh, hopefully get this show on the road even more than the last time. That'd be nice. <laughs> ah, Tiz! Good to see you safely returned. What of Norende? I take it from your grim countenance, our fears were confirmed. It is gone, but not forgotten, your highness. I'm prepared to rebuild it. It will take time, but Norende will recover. Well spoken, lad. I shall support the effort however I can. Take this. It will serve as a token of your new office as chairman of the restoration effort. It's an honor. Your Highness, isn't there any way to drive the Eternian military from the borders of your kingdom? Tis. Nah, they've been a curse upon us all of late. 
and never more than this last week. They're in a lather over this search for the Wind Vestal. I've no clue what has them so desperate, but they've begun making bald threats. They've birthed their ships at the lake southwest of us with cannons trained on the city. I fear our own ships cannot fly as long as they've our people at gunpoint. It galls me, but there's little I can do. Your Highness, I offer my humblest apology for the ordeal I have forced upon your kingdom. I am Agnes Oblige, the Vestal of Wind. You! I shall resolve the matter. I give you my word, I will cause you no further grief. Will you? Yes, that would be... But wait a moment. You need worry on the matter no further, Your Highness. Farewell. Wait! I'm coming too! Alright, so fortunately that scroll that he gave us was a peek at rebuilding the village like I was talking about at the end of the last part where we can head to the bottom screen where all of this will take place and look at our progress. Let's build Narunde. So this is kind of where most of my street passing is going to come into effect here is to speed up the villagers and their efforts in rebuilding. You can grow the population in which e with each street pass we gain a new resident. So, yeah, basically once you see it, it'll be much easier to see. Oh, and we also get Nemeses, which are mysterious creatures that invade through the net. That's not good. And so, eventually we'll be able to fight these guys, but you want to be careful because usually you'll get them at like 80 or 90 level monsters and it's, it's a little insane. But we can also protect these and, uh, yeah. So anyway, we can also share them. It's kind of interesting. So here's Nurende, and for now we can only start up here in this area, which we can build an armor shop, which will take us 30 minutes of game time, or you can just shut your DS overnight, leave it like that. And um, we also have an ancient boulder, which will take 10 hours. <laughs> and then uh, a trader, 15 minutes. That would actually probably be best for us, because once you finish building one of these, or erecting these buildings, um, you, these items will then be available by that mysterious adventurer that allows us to save. We can buy these items from him, and once we do that, we can buy bronze armor and so on. But, you know, we need to get through the tangled woods in order to get to Blackwater Fen and etc. And this stuff, I'll be doing off screen. You don't really have to worry too much about that, because it's a simple process of just making people do whatever you want them to. Anyway, I didn't even see what this one was called. Should you resolve the matter? Ooh, so the Eternian camp at the southwest lake alone, which is where Holly and Baris are. Baris? Baris Lair? I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, she's no match for an airship, but me and my new bronze sword. Tell you what. Hmm. Oh, they didn't. How do we even know? We had absolutely no idea they were there. Why do we all of a sudden know our enemy is intense? <laughs> a little bizarre, but I think we're just about ready to head out over there. Agnes! Oh, Agnes! I have a plan! A good one! Get captured! Then they'll take you aboard their airship! Hey. That's your ticket across the sea! That's smart. It's true that no ships can sail upon the ocean now that it's rotten. You can't really mean to! Agnes, they'll kill you! I'll not ask you again. Leave us. You are too eager to meddle in the affairs of others. Farewell. Agnes, wait. That road leads to the graveyard. It's a dead end. <laughs> uh, which... Uh, which way is the lake? It seems you've need of a guide. At least let me show you the way there. Unacceptable. I think it's a grand idea! It could take weeks with Anya's sense of direction. <laughs> Airy? Very well. Then I ask you to serve as our guide. Only as a guide. And only as far as 
the lake. Is that clear? I guess. As a crystal, leave it to me. <laughs> You're cute, Tiz. Really, you are adorable. Thank you. <laughs> so to the lake we go. And do I dare chat? Man, they do so many of these party chats, but I don't want to miss them. They're just, they add a nice little dimension of character to each of our lovable characters. Ah, tis the navigator. Yes, he tis. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be a running gag throughout the story is how bad Agnes' sense of direction is. And it's like, rude. Each of these characters will have, like, a little quirk to them. Which I think is... Uh, it's kind of stereotypical of an RPG, so you, you know, you can relate to them a little bit, but... <laughs> yeah, Ari is not very pleased. <laughs> like, nah, nah, I don't, I don't even live in Caldisla and... Caldisla? It's, that's a hard word to just say off the top of your head, unless you're reading it, but... Anyway, even the boy from Narende knows his way around these parts more. <laughs> of course, she's gonna be rude. With this super long conversation standing in the same spot. <laughs> They're men, not monsters. It's like, well, you say that now. Alright, uh, so how am I feeling? Pretty good. I will go ahead and probably update data just for right now because. Uh, yes, okay, thank you. Internet time to communicate, and this will also allow us to get more summons, uh, send out our own summons, which will be probably useless, as well as the fact that uh, we'll be able to help rebuild Narenda even faster. And so that's what net inviting is going to do. But we can only do this once a day, so... And we sent four of them! Very nice. So look at all of these people. Christ, lightning fist! These are people who are actually playing. How's it going? If you guys happen to be watching this, welcome. Jeez. Also, you guys are knowing the exact time and day that I'm recording this, so... That's great. It's kind of neat people. Thirteens. Not too bad. Well, levels, I should say. So, this one's from Deutschland. This one's from the USA. And, oh, okay. Cool. That is pretty neat. And so, yeah, we'll go ahead and save after that, I guess. Not a bad haul. However, I would like to be able to check out oh god a nemesis was sent here level 25 okay so he's only gonna be here for three days and oh this one thanks gamer beard and g okay but the village's population increased by four which means we now have four people four more people to help us like knock stuff down so if i wanted to get this done even faster i could send five of them get it done in two minutes <laughs> but that's not a very good way of doing things so i'll have one person work on that and probably just before the episode's over, we'll get this bronze armor situated. There we go. Now let's actually go and fight somebody. Something off in the distance. And fortunately, because we leveled up a pretty good amount in the last part, um, we now have double slices. Eventually we have triple. Will we get quadruple? That's a uh, statement for another day. Done! Done! <laughs> we supplies to last a fortnight! Cannonballs to rain iron on Caldisla for a week straight! Hmm. Seems we've been saved the effort. Have a look below. Hmm? Oh, the Vestals come to us! Planning a frontal assault, is she? I like it! So help me, Holly. I'm going in myself this time! Don't try to stop me! I don't suppose I have much choice. I'll join you. Uh, let's be done with her and back to the villa already. I'm liable to go on a killing spree if I don't get a proper shower soon. Watch the ship, boys! 